I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. We finish off the city building series by returning to China, this time to play the open missions. Uh, now, unlike Zeus and Poseidon, this game does not actually have sandbox scenarios, it just has open play maps. Uh, so, this series is basically going to be me just building a city and conquering China. Let's go ahead and start. So we can set a bunch of parameters here. Uh, I'm going to be playing in the Steel Age because that will give me access to all of the technologies. Uh, I'm going to increase the number of cities. We'll just leave all of this as is. And then I can choose a random city. We get to choose from every map in the game, including the ones during the campaigns. Uh, I'm going to go for Chang'an during the Sui period. I have literally gone through and looked at every single one of these maps and I was not impressed by any of them really uh, for this kind of city that I want to build, but this one is probably best suited. Uh, I also want to build a few monuments, so I'm going to build a large palace because this is going to be my imperial capital. I'm going to build the Grand Temple Complex and I'm going to build the clock tower because I don't believe I got to build that quite nearly enough when I was actually playing through the campaigns. So that looks good. Open up the city. Okay, so this is set during one of the campaigns, I believe. We already saw this city. Uh, as you saw, there were two other different versions of Chang'an at different periods, and the map is slightly different for each of them. Uh, for example, in the earlier periods maps, you don't have these channels, which are obviously indicating where I will be putting my agricultural centers. Um, I believe there are also a few little landscape things that are different as far as where the ores are, and we don't have access to the stone in the earlier maps either, and I want this because I have three monuments that I will need to build. Um, starting so late, however, I will have no use for this copper up here because I have access to steel now and my taxes are done on paper so what I'm going to do here uh, is build a very large city I, I really actually think I'm gonna want the whole map to be taken up and uh, if we look at the world here the game actually, even though I picked the Chang'an map, the game has decided that uh, this city is actually going to be called Togto, or whatever. Um, and we're starting up here in the Gobi Desert, which is not actually reflected in the map itself, but that's okay. I uh, do have quite a few of the... big. Oh, well, here's Chang'an itself. Well, anyway, um, I do have quite a few cities that look like they will be good trading partners. And then, of course, we have these kingdoms, which I can try to conquer. I don't know that I can. I don't remember. Um, anyway, so I'm going to spend a few moments here to clean this up, get rid of the walls, because I'm going to want the city to expand much larger than this. And since this series is pretty much just going to be building the city, uh, I don't think I'm going to skip nearly as much content as I used to, so you'll actually have a chance to watch me build the city rather than have me pause and uh, you know come back to me with roads laid out and all that stuff. Uh, so this will be more playing the game as a city builder rather than whatever. Uh, however, I do kind of want to spend some time planning out where I will have things, so I'm going to pause, and uh, when I come back, this should be all cleared up. Maybe a few preliminary roads, but I will actually build the city on camera. Okay, so what I've actually done here is I've taken this map into the map editor and cleared out a bunch of the rocks, because there were rocks scattered all over the center of this, and that was going to mess with my plans. Uh, in doing so, I had to basically reload the map, and that actually moved us. We are now in the city of Kaifeng, and uh, we don't have the Southern Asian empires, so uh, the map is a little bit different, but I think it'll still work out just fine. We do have some of these trading partners down here, and I think that, uh, from what I remember playing in the campaign, they have a lot of good stuff, so 
I actually kind of prefer what has happened here. But uh, anyway, so I've cleared this out, and I do kind of want to build this city sort of kind of based on an actual historical Chinese city. So what I actually want to do here is I'm going to put like an administrative center right in the middle. And since I'm building the large palace, I'm going to have sort of the royal quarters behind there. So I'll have the governor's palace with the administrative city and the clock tower sort of there in the middle and then behind it will be the palace. Um, I'm thinking of having some of the elite housing wrap around there and maybe have the east quarter be sort of the noble district and then I want to have the workers districts down here along the bottom and I'm thinking maybe I'll have this part as the industrial sector because uh, this area here should provide well let's check uh, workshop kiln yeah so it'll provide better feng shui although actually it only really does it here maybe I shouldn't have removed so many rocks oh well whatever um, so anyway I guess I'll have like the little industrial sector down here uh, as part of the southern gate. Although if I actually want to connect this, I don't think I'll have a southern gate. I'll have the western gate out here, which will lead to the agricultural stuff. I'll have the eastern gate, through which all the industry and uh, commerce junk is there. And then up in the north gate, we'll have that lead out to what? I don't know. I did delete this little canal here, the little channel there. Uh, I guess I probably could have modified it even more so I could actually use this. I don't know, maybe we'll have another uh, poor district out here or something. Um, what I'm not sure about yet is whether or not I want to enclose the agricultural parts inside of a wall. Or if I want the wall to run on this side of this channel and then run up here. And then we'll have sort of like a little water gate. I guess it'll be open because we don't have the ability to actually put a gate over there. Uh, but that should be okay. And then I guess maybe on this side of the coast, or the shore, is where I can put the fishing boats. For food, we have access to pretty much everything. We'll have four different types of food. That'll be really nice. We've got access to lacquer and tea. Uh, we'll have no issue whatsoever with uh, irrigating. I've got the steel down here, well it's iron, but um, that's where I'll make the steel working stuff. Uh, oh, a military district. I need to maintain something for that. Uh, maybe I could put that out here, because we're going to have a lot of open space out here. Uh, so having maybe those military tents, and then of course we're going to have to have the stone quarries dragging that in. Now i got to remember that I've also got this incredibly large temple complex, so that's got to go somewhere as well. Maybe I'll have that as part of the Eastern District. Um, and I do kind of want to go into all of the religions this time. So I want to have, you know, the Pagoda, I want to have the Taoist Temples. Um, I believe we only need two religions to get to the highest elite housing. So that means that one elite housing can be Taoist, the other can be Buddhist, so we'll keep those two separated. Um, everyone will have Confucius because they need that. Then I'll put the big temple there. Yeah, okay, so let's get started. Um, I mean, this is normally the sort of thing that I do off screen because I sit and plan this out. Um, and because I'm not actually, you know, counting squares this time, I'm probably going to end up with a few things that are off and that's going to screw me over and just mess with my head because uh, that's the sort of thing that I cannot really stand. Uh, let's do uh, let's do it here. Uh, maybe maybe right there. Okay. So the governor's palace is down. We'll run a road out there. I've already got an idea of how I want this part to go. And I want to set this up before the rest of the city. So we'll have a nice little thing going like that. I'm going to put the administrative city in here as well. And we're going 
to put in clock tower over here. Now I do want to have a road running around here just so that the gates are actually connected to roads. Um, I'm going to have this lined with garden so that that actually will beautify it and make it turn into something nice. We'll start running brown residential wall and it's not actually going to fit there. So I think I'll do a chop that out. Then we'll get the brown wall going like there. We'll just have it run right up the back. There we go. Now over here in this corner, I'm actually going to put the money printer. I figure in a real city, you'd probably have this closer to the actual administrative center so that it could be guarded and uh, watched over. Okay, so that is going to be the center of the city. And uh, it's actually a little bit... I would actually like it that way a little bit, but that's fine. We'll deal with it. Okay, so now I'm going to put down Building Inspector, because we don't want this all to fall down around our heads. Let's add a noble sculpture. I'll have it facing this way, even though the back is going to be facing whoever enters into this. I kind of prefer to be able to see it. You know what, let's just go like this. That'll work. Uh, and then we'll run gardens along here. And then I guess I'm just going to put some beautification stuff out here. I will put uh, a square. Nope. That won't fit there. Well, it won't work there either is what I mean. Um, dang it. Well, I guess I'll just put a round one. Uh, you know what? Let's put a square one. And uh, actually put in a pond with a bridge. Okay, and over here, I want to put a drag... Nope, not a dog, a dragon sculpture. And let's put... Let's put trees over there. I'll put a plum tree, peach tree, and cherry tree. That'll work. Um, let's put in gardens back here. Should I just put more garden? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that looks nice. Um, this should be enough that uh, this will evolve, and so we'll have two inspectors, so I don't have to worry too much about them doing that, but I will plunk down a couple of these, and that's actually not going to go there. Okay, well. What if I delete that? Put that there, and then... There. Okay. So now at least they do have a circuit, and hopefully they will have a better chance of running down here so that this thing doesn't collapse. But uh, once that clock tower builds up, that should look really nice. Let's go ahead and finish off this. Run that all the way down here. Uh, let's put Imperial Way. Actually, I think I want to have a road running around connecting this up. That way we don't have everyone wandering through the center. Because otherwise that would not be so great. Okay, I'll have it like that. Have the Imperial Way going down for a bit. Um... I imagine, actually, that that's going to look... Let's see, if I delete that, put Grandway across there. Does that work? That works. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to add that all the way around. I mean, it, I could do that, I guess, because it would make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and it would provide just a little bit of spacing between the walls, because I'm going to probably start putting districts, like, right next to it. Uh, one thing I do have to plan for, of course, is having the, uh, what are these, mills, because we do need to distribute the food. We don't want our market squares to be too far away. Um, okay, you know what, I'm going to have to delete some of these trees. Now I think because 
the water table is in such a way that this is all nice area out here. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about the trees for feng shui. But, no, 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 this one. I mean, it should it should all look nice out here. We're just going to have problems with things like the inspector's tower, which actually requires rocks and stuff, because I got rid of all that stuff. Um, one thing I do want to do now, though, is turn this off so that we don't need them for workers right away. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a... Wow, maybe I should turn that down just a bit. It is turned down pretty much as far as it's going to go without it being turned off. Okay, next thing is going to be the palace. Now, I don't... Yeah, it's going to be off-center. That's kind of obnoxious. When I was originally looking through this, I did not have this garden strip along there, and it did match up nicely. However, this road did not change and look nicer, so it's going to be a compromise. Um, and the city is not going to be symmetrical as is anyway, just because we are you know, offsetting some stuff here. So anyway, let's... Uh, oh, there we go. I can't really afford to waste time because I'm doing this all on camera. And you get to watch. Maybe if this is too cumbersome, I will go ahead and just change my mind on that. Um, so let's see, if I have a road there, plus the Grand Way, um, plus a wall. Uh, actually, if I pull that out there, one more. Okay, so I'll have this here. That'll be where the wall is. That'll be where the edge of the road is. Let's go up one more, and that's where the main road will be. Okay, so I will plunk this down here. Um, now, let me see. I need to... Is there a way I can tell them to not do production on these right now? Maybe I'll just delete these. Anyway, what I'm going to do is take this out, and then I'm going to bring it in one more so I can put Imperial Way there uh, and then I want this to be surrounded gonna have to delete some of you I was actually thinking of pushing this a little bit further back so that we actually had a little bit more breathing room but if I want to do anything up here at all um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Now, actually, it looks like I'll be able to put a little bit of an elite block there. But yeah, I think I'm mostly going to have to put the elite out in the eastern district. If I did push this back, what would I gain from that? Because right now this is kind of awkward. I'll probably put the wall here, unless I actually want it to extend over the river. In which case, I could put... Well, I could put a one-sided elite strip this way. And if I put the main... Or the grand square... Yeah. If I put the grand square here, one would go down this way. And I could have them on both sides. And then one would go this way, and it would only be the one side. But then we'd have the wall here. And then we'd probably have that connect over... Probably move that road to like here. That's where the bridge over would be. Then I can have like a strip of the common housing with the actual city wall on that side. And then we're just going to sort of have vulnerabilities because, like it or not, it's not going to be a fully enclosed city. I mean, it could be. I could just bring the wall all the way inside the river. Uh, but I kind of like the idea of having sort of the open canal district. Well, anyway, let's continue on with this. We'll just have that move out like so, and like so. And where do I want the center on this to be? If I pulled it back, I mean, it, God, this whole thing looks really bad. Um, if I pulled it back like that, it would be more centered on this, and we're keeping in line with that road there. Uh, 
I don't believe, yeah, if I turn around the palace, I can't see the back of the palace, so I can't, like, line up anything, and obviously it'd be in the way of a northern gate out of the, the administrative center anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll go ahead, go back to the Imperial Way, probably do, like, is that gonna work? How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna have to get rid of that, oh great. So if I do Imperial Way all across there, and then it doesn't matter what I have there because that's going to be with a wall. No. Shoot. I, uh, I don't think I did. What did I do? Oh, I don't want that to be Imperial Way. I want it to be... Okay, come on. Undo, undo, undo. It's not gonna undo. Great. Yeah, I don't want that to be Imperial Way. I want that to be Grand Way. Shush. Because I want this to be Grand Way. So if I do... Just do like that. That works. Okay. And then I can put the brown across from there. And we'll go ahead and put more grand way out here. Okay. It's starting to come together. Now I don't think I have to have these inspected, so we'll have I guess I'll have this enclosed. I don't think I'll have a reason to pull that out. Um, so how am I going to do this? If I go like that, is that going to... Nope. Hmm. It doesn't do that. Well, I guess I can put, like, trees there or something. We'll have brown residential wall. Now let me see. If I have that there, that's going to be one, two. Or no, it's just going to be one off the road. Is that... Is it my imagination, or is that road looking even nicer than... Because it's got that curb there. Is that because of the wall? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, so if I put the wall here, this wall is going to be out by two. Um, I guess I could just offset it right now, and that way I won't have future issues when I try to to make it symmetrical. Uh, we're not going to make it symmetrical. I'm not going to spend that much time on it. And besides, I think it'll add a little bit of character. Um, let's Speaking of characters, let's see if we can add one of each statue to this. Cause that would be neat. Have this go like that. Actually, I want to check the scholar. The scholar and the soldier are the hardest to get in feng shui. Yeah, and they're not going to go. Okay, we'll go uh, scholar there. Then we'll go uh, female. Let's just have them all facing the same way. All facing south. Now, in real world feng shui, I'm not sure if that would actually be an auspicious direction or not, but this will work. Okay, and then uh, let's put trees, put a plum tree, put a peach tree, put a cherry tree, and then we'll put a. Oh, nope. Would that fit there better? Let's just see. I guess the cherry tree is uh, differently oriented. Ah, oh, there, okay. So we'll go like that, and then peach tree up here. Peach tree works there. And we'll go with two plum trees. Okay. 
So that should look nice, and when this is built, I believe it also has its own set of gardens and stuff, so that'll look really nice. Um, and then we're gonna have to wrap the road around it. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Well, the center of the city is done. Uh, we didn't actually get anything built. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this format's gonna be fun to watch or not. Anyway, uh, I think it's time to end the first episode. City center is done. We'll probably start working on the common housing next because we're gonna have to start making some money. I've already spent nearly 3,000 coins on this. Okay, see you next time.